Hello and welcome to round one back nine coverage of the 2023 Chainsaw Classic. This event is presented by Discs Mania and Down South Discs. Coverage is brought to you by the Great Courses of South Carolina with additional footage by Tommy Patterson. Commentary team today is Ryan Ish Omer and Ryan Mon. Welcome to the back nine. First up, we got myself, rated 996, sponsored by Down South Discs. Then we got William Hanu, rated 993. We have Adam Mon, rated 959, also sponsored by Down South Discs. We have Alex Durham, rated 987. We have Steven Scoggins, rated 926, as well, sponsored by Down South Discs. After the front nine, I'm at four down, Will at five down, Adam at seven, Alex at four, and Scoggins also at seven under. Hole 10 is a par three, 219 feet. I think it plays a little longer than that. One of the tougher ones in the course through this tight initial gap and just pretty much goes straight the entire time. Um, you got a hill on the right side of the basket, which the basket is placed right on the slope of it. I really think this is probably the, the most bonus birdie on the course. Mm -hmm, for sure. It's a tough one. You definitely want to land out to the left and have a putt. There was about a, a three card back on this one. It's about, it's about a good 20 minutes after we just tapped in our putts on hole nine. Wasn't bad, so. I never want to back up that far on the hardest hole. No. Alex going with the P2. Flipped her up a little too much. Be fine though. Looks like it didn't get too far off the fairway. No. Driver out of Scotland. I think it's a TL3. Pretty straight. It's like a little nose up. Yeah. I'm going to be throwing a buzz here. It's one of my straighter ones. Local route. I kicked, I kicked kind of right and I'm about five feet off the fairway on the right. Good thing I didn't get too far off. It's thick down there. Will Hanu, he's going to be throwing a MD3. I think Ned's a very popular choice in this one. That one's oh, butter. Yeah. I think that, that one's just like 20 feet. Adam throwing a zone. He's still got about a good 200 feet to the basket. Oh, yeah. just Throws her a little oh, low. No. I'm over here. I got. I have a gap. It's just a little tough. I'm gonna go with the Firebird just for the angle. Are you just trying to get this out? Or are you going for the actual I'm basket? Going for the basket. Oh, nice. Probably skipped oh, about yeah. 25 feet. Okay. Yeah. Solid from there. Yeah. Alex. He's not that far off the fairway. Should be a pretty simple shot for him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just good. That hilt is right. It's no joke on this hole. Yep. There's me for my par. Probably get this one about 30. Very nice par save. Adam. First bogey on the card, we'll see. Uh, Will, good little birdie. Nice birdie. I don't think we saw many of Scoggin's shot, but I believe he's gonna take a, I think he's gonna take a par. I think this one was the hardest hole for this, for this round for sure. Oh yeah, we just got the, uh, the numbers in. That was definitely the hardest hole. All right, I had a three, Will two, Adam four, Alex and Scoggin's with a three. 11 par 3, 322 feet, uh, uphill, first gap you gotta go through, trees on the left, nothing except for open on the right, and I think the play is a, like a forehand flip up or a backhand turnover that gently comes out at the end. I think 10, 11, and 13 are all pretty good bonus birdies. Mm -hmm. I was kind of surprised to see Will go with the forehand here, but... Uh-oh. Oh, 
Kind of yanks her over. Too sure. Going towards Straight. her 12. Just on the edge, I think. It's Alex. Alex Steve's I mean. Alex is going Crave. It's a six speed from, I believe it's Axiom. It's a nice little understable. Oops. Uh, go Needs to turn. Mm. Scoggins going forehand. Unsure with what. I think it might be a fire storm maybe. But something fast and slowly overstable. I think this uphill here just plays just enough uphill to make it kind of play something faster. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good Very nice yeah. I'm throwing a forehand wraith here. A little pop up and a good little skip to the right. Just under those. Ooh, nice. Skip up. And skip, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think Adam's gonna go with a, a raptor here, I think. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good little bounce <laughs> to the left, though. Yeah. Ooh, a Adam, come on back and turn over here. Going with a raptor. Old long legged straddle out. Pretty high. Got definitely got the turn on it. Coming out. Come back left. Yeah. It's probably about 35 feet. Well, I think that's that tactic again. Mm -hmm. Thing looks like having some waves in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, sit. Yeah, that'd be fine. Oh yeah. Alex, hold green for him. <laughs> we'll split grip. Yeah. Uh -huh. Adam for his par. Very nice far save. Scoggins for his birdie. Yeah, there it is. Myself for my birdie. And then this should be Will for his par, and then Alex after him for his par. Oh, oh no! Wow, I don't remember that. <laughs> Did that hit the bolt? It goes through it, the pole. I don't know. I think it hit like the nub and hit the chain that came out or something. <laughs> Doing a little dance. <laughs> that would be me with a two, Scoggins with a two, Alex and Adam with a three, and Will with a four. Hole twelve is a par three, 141 feet, playing like 90. And this is for sure the easiest hole in the course, dead straight. Yeah. People are either throwing like a very, very soft putter or, or jump putting. Yeah, this is definitely a must get on the course. Should be, should be just around 20 feet. I'm gonna be jump putting this one. This is one where you step up and you're like, if I don't get this one, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Pretty, unless you, <laughs> unless you get some unfortunate reaction or yeah. something. Like a roll down the hill, that can yeah. that that can actually happen pretty quickly. Oh, green. That's nice. Don't worry about it. I got it. Adams jump putting with his blue banger. It's a little low. Looks like you still got to look at it. That should be fine. I think that's probably about. 25, 30 maybe. We'll also go on with the jump up. Is that his envy again? Or? I think it might be his putting putter on the okay. Alright. Adam, about 25 feet for his birdie. Oh mm. no. It's like a little bit too much heat on that one. I think that's just, that's just unfortunate right there. Yeah. I mean, that's what makes this course even harder mm -hmm. is, like, the basket just being a little older. Yep. I know with Steady Ed, once they changed the basket to Mach X, the course just got, like, two strokes easier. Mm-hmm.
you have those Mach 3s, you're getting sped outs all day. The newer chain assemblies just catch so much better than the older versions. Mm -hmm. It's like playing Earl with every year. you got to have a nose down putt to change it up. <laughs> or else you're getting sped out like every other hole. Curled up here a little long. Should be a, should be a, essentially a drop in. A little right, but birdie's a birdie. And these should just be routine tap ins. Mm -hmm. I will went a little long. Oh, okay. A little straddler. Well, not as easy as we think. Looks like he's got a tree on this right side there. He's kind of getting in the way some. Mm -hmm. Right in his stance. This should be a drop in par for Adam and a drop in birdie for Alex. Yeah, getting the par here almost feels like a bogey on this hole. I mean, yeah. Adam, he, you should just know that that was, just wasn't his fault. Oh, was, yeah, of course. That's per essentially a perfect putt. That would be everybody two, Adam three, and moving on to hole 13. Hole 13 is a par three, 271 feet. You can either go left or right of this middle tree. And then you have another two gaps, left or right of this middle one. I think the play should be down the right side one gets you closer, down the left side one mainly always puts you in the backside trees. I think the forehand's definitely the shot here. Yeah. I think you can go backhand, but it requires a lot more, a lot more accuracy. The forehand oh, yeah. kind of just gets you. That'd be sick too. I think with that ceiling and having the backhand finish right, I just think it's such a harder shot. Mm -hmm. Throwing a Firebird here. I'm kind of just aiming at that middle tree, and hopefully I go left or right of it. Now that's a champ Firebird? Mm -hmm. This is my medium stability one. A little wide, and just kind of goes a little yeah. long. Alex is going to go with the backhand, does not get it turned, and just kind of soars. Was that an MD3 through? I think so. This is, this is Will with an FD3. He's kind of just been oh, rolling yeah. his wrist all day with the forehand, but this one oh. comes out clean. I, I thought he got a skip up there. Adam with the 2021 Yule Bear Raptor. Mm. Oh. It's going to flip a little more tomorrow. Going with another Raptor. Should play that left side hyzer. Needs to go a little like it got up there. Yeah. Circle two at least. I think it's just on the edge. It's cognizant, just a little, a little, a little touch flutter. button. Maybe get a bid too. A little yeah. semi run. I got this big branch in the way, just a little too much height. The branch got into my head. Yeah. It's like an awkward stance. Mm -hmm. Here is Alex. Provisional. We didn't know in the rules. We didn't see. It said the creek was OB, but he was past the guy's fence, so we didn't really know what to do. So we went, did the right thing, called provisional, yep. and went to the tournament director after. I don't think I've ever seen anybody that far in there. Yep. Oh, that was a good shot, though. Adam for his par. Probably a good 25 feet. Little knee yeah. straddle. Will, awkward, awkward spot for his birdie after oh, throwing man. such a good shot. Can I go a little horseshoe? Oh, man. Be an easy part, though. Original putt for, this would be for his, I don't know, bogey, maybe? Oh, wow. I know, that, that, that one was for his par. That one was for his par, but he got a par. That's all I really remember is I'm getting a part on that. So that should be a that should be a par frame. Yeah. yeah. 
That's going to be everybody three after hole 13. Move on to hole 14. It's a pretty stock hyzer. It's a 282 feet. You either go low putter uh, over this bush on the right, or someone over say like a zone maybe, and finish left of the basket, or as you'll see me and Alex do, we go higher with a over stable nine speed. Yeah, moving right to left of the basket is what you want rather than moving forward any. The hill's pretty steep. Big Scoggins going with the Halo Invader. Looks like it's pretty close. Mm -hmm, that should be good. That's good. I'm going with a Firebird kind of high. I noticed in practice the uh, skip's really inconsistent because of the grass and then it goes straight to dirt. About 10 feet from the basket it's grass, but then right as you get to the basket it becomes dirt. So you get you either hit the grass and sit, or you hit the dirt and just launch. Yeah. So going high with it and hitting the ground on a vertical angle, it it, move. Yeah. the worst it can do is a roll. And that's what it did at about 25 feet. I think so, yeah. Oh, well, we're about to get back to that. Yeah. Scientific improvement. There you go. <laughs> Alex going with that FD3 up by. Same, very similar to my shot. Very big spike. Yeah. Will going back to that tactic. Oh, hurry up. Left. Needs to go left. left. Uh, that'll be oh, a pun. Yeah. Took a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, I think he's going big, yeah. Pretty wide. And it takes Ooh, a massive skip down the hill. Oh, right, about, oh. To about 40 feet. Oh. Well, at least he's got his putt still. Mm -hmm. Just a little <laughs> high. I've heard way too many bands this round. Mm -hmm. Here's myself just behind this tree. Should be about 20, 25 feet. Nice. Awkward stance birdies are always solid. Mm -hmm. Will is in a pretty similar spot, probably about five feet ahead of mine. Oh, that was a little low. Alex for a birdie. Oh my oh, man. gosh, guys. Scoggins for a birdie. There we go. There's one. There should just be some par cleanups. So that's going to be mean Scoggins two. Everybody else in the card with a three. Hole 15 is another par 3, 187 feet. Dead straight, uh, this tree on the right comes into play for the backhand highs, and this tree on the left comes in on the putt. Uh, it's just dead straight putter. I think for a lead card in the pros, this is kind of one of those must gets. Yeah, I would say so. Scoggins going with an invader. Looks pretty Back solid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going with an Envy. Stand still putter. How plastic is that, Envy? I think it's just Neutron, which is similar to like their Star mm -hmm. ESP. Mm -hmm. I've had it for a little bit, so it's kind of flippy. It's also one of the lighter ones. It makes a really weird reaction off that tree to like 30. Yeah, that's fine. Still have a look at it. Mm -hmm. Alex with, a, with Old Green. That's gonna be going. Ooh. Now it's out the it's out the out the back long. <laughs> I'm about to say how far they go behind it. Well with a different envy. And still just oh, a little man. early. Let's keep up. Adam going with a backhand roach. A big gap between those two big trees at the bottom, hopefully you can see the put. Looks like Adam's gonna join him. Yep. Between them. Yeah. Yeah. 
So Will's got got the gap. I don't know if that tree on the le like one tree on the left is in his way, but no, oh, it's very not nice. In his way. Not in the way enough. Me about thirty feet. Oh. Adam, for his birdie. The last oh, couple no. holes for Adam have been brutal reactions. So that's going to be the Mom Boys 2, everybody else in the car with a 3. No, sorry, the Mom Boys 3, everybody else in the car with a 2. <laughs> have to get out of the way of the camera. Okay. Hole 16, 173 feet, par 3. Up this hill to the right, I think the play is a forehand or pretty cut off turnover backhand. Uh, the left side of the, of the green is very guarded, so you want to kind of come in a little early right if you throw the forehand. Goggins throwing a Halo Invader, I think. No, sorry, Toro. I think you still have like a 60 footer. Some sort of a look. Box P2. Uh -oh. oh no. Well with the with the tactic again. Ooh, maybe a little inside, but oh, that's nice. That's perfect. That'll do. I'm throwing a Halo Firebird. Come back. Nice ground play. Yeah, great reaction. Sometimes they like to hit that tree and roll. Yeah, that big root there. Yeah. Adam throwing a zone. Oh, another nice one. That should be good. MD3 forehand. Oh. Scoggins with the. A deep circle two bid. Get it. Oh! <laughs> so close. Oh. Robert was walking and Alex was putting. We actually had no idea Alex was putting, which happens a lot when we play with Alex. Sure, he doesn't really care. Sure. Good birdie. Keeping it casual. Adam's oh, very excited that one actually stuck. He's had a rough back nine so far. You needed a break. Spit out and sit through is not really what you want to see. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate bogey for Alex on this one. Not really one. You think about even taking a par on sometimes. It's one you really want to get. Will a little straddle for his birdie. Mm -hmm. Myself for a birdie. Very nice. That should be Scoggins for a par. So it's going to be me, Adam, and Will birdies, Scoggins par, and Alex with a bogey. Hole 17 is a par 3, 243 feet, one of the harder ones on the course. I think it's a forehand turnover, but something has a little bit of fade at the end. And uh, that can just stop on this hillside right here. I guess y'all be throwing zones and toros. Yeah, I, I'm throwing a buzz here. A buzz? Okay. Just because uh, my zone doesn't really hold over as much. But Will is going tactic. So similar to that zone toro. Looks like he's done that tactic on about a third of the holes out here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's very nice. That was a really good shot. This is this buzz is pretty pretty overstable for a buzz. Um, on a forehand at least, you can kind of throw a flat. 
because I touch a turn and gently comes back at the end. Yeah, that downhill definitely helps get the nose back up. Oh, a little long. Almost like a big strong. Adam throwing an air heart zone. little slide yeah normally the only two tournaments we have out here in the year the big ones are Chainsaw Classic and the Chili Chili Bang Bang and they're all both during the colder months which have the leaves on the ground which mm -hmm. get some good skips out of those uh, yeah, oh Alex, boy Alex, fun gonna, time. Alex is going to go over yes and it's going to come down and almost almost black eight the other one. Oh, he got nowhere to need he stepped up and he's like, I'm not playing that well, so I'm going to go over the top to the fans. And I'm like, I love it. There's a forehand here. Simon line. And it just just barely goes down the hill. Should have like a 15-footer for his par. Nice. That would be a solid par save from there. Had him for two. Uh-oh. Myself for a two. With the free backboard uphill. Mm-hmm. Get it. Oh, no. Backboard uphill, I don't give it the height. Mm. Scoggins for a birdie on this one. Really good too. Adam cleaning up his three here. Should be uh should make this one. <laughs> those are ones where it's very possible to miss just because of a mistake, but also they should you should make those every single time. Yeah. Alex for his incredible par save. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no. That would have been one of the greatest up and down ever, as I just said. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Uh, That's going to be Will and Scoggins with the two, me and Adam with the three, and Alex Graham with the four. We've gone to hole 18. It's a par three, 221 feet. There's two lines with that. I only really think there's one line on this right side. Uh, either back in our forehand with some water on the on the left OB. There is a left side line. It's kind of there, but I think it's kind of just throw it and pray it gets through. Yeah, I think it's, it's really that right line. To the left. This is an envy from Will. It looks very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should put. Scottings with an invader. 12 under. Shooting a heater. Oh, yeah. It's always nice on a hot round to go ahead and slice one down the middle on the last hole. Off park the birdie. It. Yeah. I'm putting a forehand down this right side. Fades, fades away from the water. Gets me about a, mainly like a 20 footer every time. What are you throwing there? This is a, a zone. Kind of holds over a little bit and it's gonna fade out. And it's gonna come right for the camera. Watch out, catch cam. Hits the tree, go good. Oh, nice. Good ground play off the stamp tree. on that disc. Adam throwing wide. Oh, yeah. Bid. I think this is Alex's yellow P2. The P2 he throws when he doesn't want to lose his green one. <laughs> yeah. The sacrificial P2. I don't know. I think that might be safe. I'm not sure though. Adam for his two. Oh, oh man. At least it sat though. Yeah. Didn't roll in the water, which is like right there. Mm. Myself for my two. Deep exhale after that. Okay round. Not really what I was looking for in the round, but I think Alex is safe. 
There's like a little thing right there, like where that tree is, and it kind of goes around. Oh, nice. nice. Top shelf. Good birdie after the last two holes, bogey bogey. So, it's happened par for Will and Adam, and should be a drop in two for who's going to be your leader, Steven Scott, who's at 13 under. Highest rated round of his career so far. Yeah. That was me too and uh, Alex and Scoggins too. So your lead card's gonna be Steven Scoggins, Landon Garrett, Will Hanu, Asher Samsel, and myself. Scoggins shooting a hot 13 under, 1034, highest rated round of his career. Uh, Landon Garrett with an ace on hole eight, shooting 994. And then me, Will, and Asher all shooting nine downs, 981.